Hi all, this is Prema, working as Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to learn about Java programming. In this video, we are going to discuss about decision making, decision making and branching, looping, classes and objects. Let's get into the slide. Here first, we are going to see about decision making and branching. What is mean by branching? A, when a program breaks the sequential flow and jump to the another part of the code is called branching. A branching divided into two types. One is conditional branching and next one is unconditional branching. A conditional branching it is based on a particular condition and unconditional branching works without any decision is known as unconditional branching. A control or decision making statement are divided into three types. They are if statement, switch statement, conditional operator statement. First we are going to see about if statement. If statement depending on the value of expression is true or false, the control is transferred to a particular statement. If statement further divided into four types. They are simple if statement, if else statement, nested if else statement and else if later. Next, we are going to see about simple if statement. If, uh, if the given text expression is true, the statement block will be executed. Otherwise, execution will jump to the statement X. A statement block may, may be a single statement or a group of statement. Next, we are going to see about if else statement. If the text, uh, text, uh, text expression is true, then true block statement are executed. Otherwise, the false block statement are executed. Next, we are going to see about nesting of if else statement. Here, if the condition 1 is false, the statement 3 will be executed. Otherwise, it evaluate the condition 2. If the condition 2 is true, then the statement 1 will be executed. Otherwise, statement 2 will be evaluated. And the control is transferred to the statement X. Next, we are going to discuss about switch statement. A switch statement is also known as multi-way decision statement. The switch statement tests the values of a given variables against a list of case values. When match is not found, a block of statement associated with the case is executed. Next, we are going to see about decision making and looping. The process of repeatedly executing of a block of statement is known as looping. A Java language provides three looping statements. They are the while statement, the do statement and the for statement. The while statement, the simplest of all looping structure in a Java is the while statement. While is the entry control loop statement. The test condition is evaluated and if the condition is true, then body of the loop is executed. And then the execution of the body continues until the test condition becomes a false and the control is transferred to the out of the loop. Next, we are going to see about do statement. In do statement, the program proceeds the evaluated the body of the loop first. At the end of the loop, the test condition in the while statement is evaluated. If the condition is true, the program continues to evaluate the body of the loop once again. The program continues to evaluate the body of the loop as long as the condition is true. Last statement, the for statement. A for loop is also known as entry control loop. Initialization of a control variable is done first using an assignment statement. And then it checks the control variable is tested using the test condition. And the, now con and the control variable is incremented using an assignment operator. Next, we are going to see about classes, objects and methods. Classes. A class is a way of binding the data and the associated method in a single unit. A class creates objects and the object use the method to communicate between them. The data items are, all, are called as fields and the function are called as methods. Next, we are going to discuss about object. In order to store the data for the data members of the class, we must create an object. Object in a Java are created using a new operators. Next, we are going to see about 
methods a method declaration have a four basic part they are the name of the method should be given and then the type type of the value the method return type should be mentioned and then we have to list the parameters and then body of the method next we are going to see about constructor and its type a constructor name should be uh, same as the name of the class uh, it divided into two two types they are default constructor and parameterized constructors inheritance when a one class acquires the properties of another class is known as inheritance a class that inherit is uh, inherited is called super class or a base class the class that's not inherited is called subclass or derivative class in the inheritance allows to reusability of a coding next we are going to see about type of inheritance there are four type of inheritance they are single inheritance multiple inheritance hierarchical inheritance and multi level inheritance thank you